someone still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Fresh manure. Water's ice cold, mountain stream cold. Rather worn, used often, wonder by who. Beehives, well maintained but dormant. Woods rotted completely. No violet rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. Graves, unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you?
was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the Caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves.
was that? Leave before it's too late. Hmm, tidy, and everything is clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table.
Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. Why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. 
Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. into this the more I gotta wonder why are you even helping me we were summoned to serve Iris von Everick our mistress died but that did not free us from her service got it you want to leave this place leave these bodies <laughs> surprised no not at all. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta want... We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but... Got it. You wanna leave? <laughs> Surprised. No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry. Tax intruders. Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too... She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe that... Wait! Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. adored flowers but she would never want to destroy them mm. all right I'll take the grave somewhere else this place seems suitable yes she loved to paint did Iris von Everick have any last requests say how she wanted her she feared death Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do... say much about Iris von Everick, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, yet all deserve respite and peace and... Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. 
You too. We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World, the work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Geert and his wife look frozen mid-motion. One of her memories. It is blurred, incomplete. You must restore it.
Just like the one Olgir's holding. Tattered decorations for a special occasion. The memory's blurred. You must search for a way to restore it. Complete it. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long. I Afraid of spiders? I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Coming. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized, one you must now face. This one's incomplete, too. A lavish feast, trying to impress the guests. Silver thread, pearls, it all must have cost a fortune. Olgird's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. different than the painting.
My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa? It's a long rocket. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? stained with blood. What... what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come. I shall finish your portrait. Another blurred memory. Details are off. Living tableau's missing something. Goblet, like the one in the painting. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting.
this goes here. Fits, I think. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this? You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgir, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgir... All geared.
Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Mines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. about this? Mm, not even a fizzle. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace.
What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! This is when he started smoking. A beer tankard, but there was vodka in it. Father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here, forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Ah, that's 
stench. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. Single place You sitting. do the rest. No others on the table. Single no place there. sitting. No others on the table. Small bowl. For soup, maybe. A large clay bowl. Probably not right. Probably not right. Something's not right. Think this was yours. There we go. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. My dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Geard.
Him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before. But you weren't yourself, and I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I lay there for days, staring at it until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I... When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to... Tell me, how is all... Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gaunt... I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how did he step into your lives? My fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both.
Longeard will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. At heart he is stuck. And did... Not much, but I didn't ask about you. The rose. The last I... Got a feeling the rose is important to you. <laughs> I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real. And I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose, feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer, but I... I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. One thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall... Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. <laughs>